for the Navy Sea Commander-in-Chief, North American Station The Office of Commander-in-Chief, North America was a military position of the British Army, established in 1755 in the early years of the Seven Years' War. Holders of the post were generally responsible for land-based military personnel in activities in and around those parts of North America that Great Britain either controlled or contested. The post continued to exist until 1775, when Lieutenant General Thomas Gage, the last holder of the post, was replaced early in the American War of Independence. The post's responsibilities were then divided. Major General William Hell became Commander-in-Chief, America, responsible for British troops from West Florida to Newfoundland, and General Guy Carlton became Commander-in-Chief, Quebec, responsible for the defense of the province of Quebec. This division of responsibility persisted after American independence and the loss of East and West Florida in the Treaty of Paris. One officer was given the posting for Quebec, which later became the commander-in-chief of the Canadas when Quebec was divided into Upper and Lower Canada, while another officer was posted to Halifax with responsibility for military matters in the Maritime Provinces. Following Canadian Confederation in 1867, these commanders were replaced in 1875 by the general officer commanding the forces whose post was succeeded in 1904 by the Chief of the General Staff Canada, a position which was established for a Canadian Army commander. Commanders-in-Chief, North America 1755-1775 Commanders-in-Chief, America 1775-1783 Commanders-in-Chief, Quebec 1775-1791 Commanders-in-Chief of the Canada 1791-1864 Commanders-in-Chief, Maritime Provinces 1783-1875